We will all be ready to go shortly. I've been assured of this. <sighs> right. Let's go. Well, we've got three wheelers plus one. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, Brandon? Yeah, I'm very good. You all right on that? Yeah, I didn't know it's hard to get the money for one way there. Uh, this isn't the way to Muddyfoot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know where it's he's headed now. Exactly. Yeah. I thought we were going to Muddyfoot, but Mike's obviously got other ideas. Yeah, yeah. We're going to show you something you haven't seen since November. Well, I'd say that. I mean, if you live here, you probably have. If anybody else has filmed it and shared it, you probably have. But we haven't shown you. Well, Richard's out on the Sonder. Brandon's got, Carrera. well, it's a Carrera. Yeah. Mountain bike? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Mountain bike. Where are we going, Mr. Wheeler? This way. This way. Avenue. Oh, okay. Glen Furness Avenue. Okay. Oh, he got busy. That's all right. You take the time, everyone. Okay. Oh, I'm not going yet. Oh, oh Brandon's not on the road. Well, this is going to be the new bridge. I understand it's open. Oh, okay. Curb. Okay. They put a curb in the way. Okay. This is all good, yeah. Nice and new. New layout for us. Okay. That was all good, wasn't that? I know we complain about infrastructure that's designed by people who don't cycle, but I know who designed that and came up with the idea and actually pushed for it and got the funding. But thank you, because you're amazing. Because <laughs> that is something else. And in case you hadn't noticed, the sun's out. So the shirt's out, the shorts are on. Oh yeah. This is what cycling's all about. Blooming hooligan. bridge it was really good interesting yeah I think we'll let them park apparently considerate cyclists are allowed to cycle through there I consider myself considerate yeah Julie's gonna be back there going he's ridden off and we haven't done the beginning yet I've got to do a beginning I've got to do the opening sequence What was that about mud guards? Nothing, no. They don't exist actually. No. Once you, go, once you get into March, you know, they just vanish. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Wheelers at large. We're out again. Look, and that sun is out as well. Yes, it's nice when the sun's out. It's blooming freezing when it's not. Yeah, it's cold actually. <laughs> it is cold. 
I was just looking at the polar bear. Oh. Can't see it now, it's gone behind the uh, Boscombe Pier, but uh, it's really clear. We'll see it in a minute. Yeah, we will. Yeah, it does look really clear. It could actually say in the weather app. You'd be able to see the polar bear from Bournemouth, yeah? Actually, it says visibility 100%. Oh, okay. Whatever that means. Wow. Goodness, that. That's sand, that is. Yeah, we lost the boys. Oh, this is nice. It's a bit into the wind, but... You know, 20 odd mile an hour. Oh, Junie's gone into the top, top gear. Look out. She's not being... Uh... Oh yeah, there she goes. There she goes. She's being completely serious now. <laughs> Thing is, I've got a brake so I don't go into the back of her. Oh dear. That's gravity, that's not my power. Red light ahead. What a shame. shouted something at me. I do not know what it was. Hello. Whee! Well, I really thought we were into the wind, but I'm doing 25 soft pedaling, so that can't be the case. Bumpy through here. Okay, what we got? What we got is a BMW. That's what we got. What? It's moving. How is it? Yes. I, I do even, like that red shirt though. I even clash with myself. Ah, okay. <laughs> Certainly you and I next to each other clash, that's for sure. Okay, now what are you talking about? I saw the clothes. Hey, uh, exactly. <laughs> Right, we've got a car back, but they can stay there because we're going to turn right. Lots of holes, missed the drain. That said, it's not wet today, so the drain isn't such a big deal. Car's reversing in front. Can't go anywhere. I don't know, this is quite entertaining actually. What's this, the second or third time they've tried to park? Yeah, I, as you can see, we've been here a while and there's probably about 10 behind us as well. But there you go. It's always a BMW, isn't it? It doesn't matter how annoying they're being or how they're being annoying. It's always a BMW. It wasn't even a small space. Oh, well, never mind. Onwards. Brandon doesn't usually ride with us. He's on his own bike. Mike and I are on our road bikes and Richard's on the Sonder. Which I think he's claimed as his. Today's route is one of the ones we used to do quite regularly on the 25 mile a day challenge. Didn't used to do it during the day very often because it's quite busy. It's a nice route all the same. Oh, 
looks like it's going to time quite well for me. Oh, headwind. Oh, chilly headwind. We were going to go down to Buddyford for chips. I don't think we're going to be stopping long. Too bloody cold. Mike hasn't indicated yet, so I assume we're not going into the quay. We're going to stop at the Cuckoo. The Cuckoo by the beach. Well, there you go. The full British experience. Tea from a teapot. Sausage roll. And just for you, John, because I don't suppose you have it in Japan, some brown sauce. So we had our coffee stop. Coffee and a pastry for me. And tea and sausage rolls for everybody else. Showing us all up on the hill. He hasn't ridden the bike for goodness knows how long. Look at him. Brandon is just doing a shoelace up behind us. He had a London lace. He doesn't normally ride with us, and nor does Rich very often. But it's quite nice that they've come out with us, come out with the olds. Let's see where the boys went. Oh, they're straight ahead. Mike used to go to school there. Highcliff, St Mark's Primary School. See Richard Skills. Yes. <laughs> that, was a, that was a really good track stand. <laughs> Dirty girl. Well, we're in the new forest now. We've left High Cliff behind. And the outskirts of New Milton and we'll see how wet and soggy this little bit is. I've got to say there's quite a bit of water out here. Fresh. Yeah, it does smell fresh. <laughs> Just coming down to, uh, I think it's called Wooden Bridge. Couldn't get curly bars, but you know, necessity being the mother of invention, he shoved a bit of straight pipe in there. It seems to work. Look, you notice that? Even Rich's knees poke inwards for aero gains. Always cold. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. It's in a thick, isn't it? Yeah. We're just about to go downhill, so oh, let's hide. There you go. I've hidden. I'm going to be honest. I think I've consumed more calories than I've expended on this ride. <laughs> but it has been very pleasant. Couple of stops, tea and sausage rolls, and um, we just had some ice cream in Burley. <laughs> About 10, 12 miles to get home now. Absolute gridlock. Cyclists, ponies, oh my goodness me. Julie's incognito. Bandito mode. <laughs> it's nippy. <laughs> it's 
looking a bit iffy. Oh well, not far to get home anyway. So, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us for the next one in Mallorca. Yes, hopefully it'll be somewhat sunnier than this. <laughs> oh, I just had a thought. I wonder if we'll be able to get through Kneecroft. It might be flooded. Has been raining a lot the last couple of days. Potholes underwater. All right. Okay, and there's raindrops on the top of the water. Uh, you can see through it actually. Right, big holes, big holes, big holes. Stay over there. Big hole, big hole. <laughs> when I say big hole, the road is actually missing. Yeah. Make it stop. <laughs> yeah. I knew we took too long at that second stop. I just knew it. We should have just grabbed a single scoop and gone. Never mind. Onwards. We can only go forwards. It's much warmer here. This is nice. Except the cars.